Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. This is part two of the live room acoustic updates. In part one, I covered all the big major changes. You know, the diffusion wall, the added absorption, where the panels were gonna move, and some of the testing I did to determine what I wanted to do to try to improve the room. In this video, I wanna go over the last couple things that I built to finish it off, and then I'm gonna come back and talk about whether or not I achieved the improvements I wanted to make. If you missed part one, I'll have links in the description. Card will probably pop up here somewhere as well. The drums you're hearing right now is just from some testing I've been doing. It's a minimal setup. Four mics on the kit and a pair of room mics. Just really trying to get a sense of the space right now. There's absolutely no processing whatsoever on those drums. So let's go have a look at the last couple changes to the room. See you in a sec. It is time to finish this part of the wall. So I have the frame built here and this will go up above here. It'll be filled with some insulation and then it will be covered. I still have to do some sanding here and then I'm actually going to lacquer this to make it a little bit more reflective. But we're getting real close to having this wall done. And then I have some trim that's gonna go, four pieces of trim that go on top of that absorber and it's done. Now the frame is up, sitting nicely on top of this absorber. Here, I'll go back a little bit. Still have the kit up. And it's ready for some insulation. And then I have, that'll be the first piece that goes up. And then right over here is piece number two. And this, it's kind of hard to see in this light, but this does have some lacquer on it. And that'll be the top. Insulation is in and now it's time to put on the face. Here's the outer frame. I'm getting ready to screw it together. And similar to this panel, it's going to have a set of rails, which you can see here. It was one by two sitting right there. The rails are gonna go all the way on the inside around this. And that's what the Skyline diffusers are going to sit on. I am going to have some insulation in the back of it. So the insulation will be pushed against the wall. So it's not just gonna be an open cavity. And then we'll do some testing. So let me put this together and we'll come back and see it finished. Frame is built, test loaded it. And everything is sitting in here nicely. Now, I'm gonna take the skylines out and I'm going to put the frame up here and get that mounted, get the brackets put up and make sure it fits right and then I will put the insulation in and put this on the wall. Frame is up. Looking nicely on the wall. Let me get back here so you can kind of get an idea where it's at. And now I'm going to put the insulation in, then I'll take those guys and they will get mounted to the rails. And then I'll be done. It's done. Uh, the first part of this wall is done. So I think it came out pretty nice. I still have, there will be a new one inch panel over there, absorption, and the same thing over here. And I may actually do those absorption with slats on top, but I'll see. I'm gonna have to do some more testing and recording first before I go building anymore. I'll put my temporary reel traps back up there and go to work. But so far, very happy with it. And it kind of matches this guy. So, boom. First off, let's take a look at the finished panel behind the drums. Very happy with how this turned out. The absorption has really helped clean up this area. It's helped the imaging of the drums when it's over here. 
but having the reflector panel on the top and being slightly angled has helped this spot stay <laughs> has helped this spot stay open and not completely dead. So I'm very, very happy with how that turned out. One of the other things I finished was the two one inch absorber panels on the side of this back skyline diffuser. And that just helped a little bit of reflection. I mean, right now I actually have a lot more outward facing absorption than I ever had in this room. And I actually think that's made quite a big difference in the overall uh, cleanup of the high end, kind of some of that harshness that uh, I wasn't happy with, uh, with symbols, especially when there are a lot of symbols going and you started compressing room mics. That is way better. But I've also noticed that the overall imaging in the room is a lot nicer too. And I think that's because I've strategically taken care of some of my reflection points that were giving me a problem. And the other thing that helped that a lot is spreading out all these Skyline diffusers. Because if you remember before, if you've seen previous videos, all of them were on this wall, except for a handful that have always been above the window over here, but to the control room, they were all over here. This wall was mainly open. For a while I had one of the big polys over there, or a couple big polys, but it was really just a giant reflective surface. So when I was testing everything and I took a couple of those pillars down over here and I moved them everywhere, but when I set them up over here, along with adding those uh, that absorption over here, I noticed right away that the the imaging left to right in the room was nicer. It's not identical on both sides, and that was not my goal, but I did notice that with room mics, all of a sudden my, my imaging was a little bit better. The room itself is, it's more open. There's a, I get a nice sense of the space. I can feel it more. It's not a long decay time, but it's live. It's a little brighter than it was, but that's easy to deal with. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything, at least right now, to deal with that because I really like the articulation of the room, especially when it comes to cymbals on the drums and room mics. But I've done some piano recording. We've had acoustic guitar in here. We've done a couple Roswell virtual showrooms. Matter of fact, I'll put links in the description to one we did with the jazz, a full jazz quartet. That was actually the first live stream that was done after all the changes were made, I was ridiculously happy with how the room reacted. The last big change is the ceiling is finally finished. Half of the bays are painted black, the other half are filled with birch. And I really like what this did to the room. It brightened it up a little bit, but it's also another reason the room is more open than it was before. So overall, I think I reached my goals. The room is more open, the high-end kind of stuffiness, especially with cymbals, that is much, much better. And to a lesser extent, that kind of five, 600 hertz area, that's not an issue whatsoever anymore. I'm happy with how drums sound, piano, the full band experience in here is really, really nice. This room is really easy to mold, it's live, but it's still controlled, and it's really easy to make it dead if you wanna make it just completely dead. Throw a few rugs out here, pull out a couple gobos, and it's an entirely different room. Goals reached, super, super, super happy with how it's turned out. I hope you guys dig this, and I look forward to doing a bunch more recorded and making some more videos. Happy recording, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.